one and all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the different people of Earth and beyond, friends, family, allies, and animals, to the mysterious world under our feet of Beth the Bunny and her fabulous friends. Welcome to the transmissions of Rabbit Ears. Uh, what do we got watching? What are we watching next there? Well, what? next we're watching children's stories. One about Naomi's horse. Naomi's after that, horse? we have Julia Animation. Nice. And after that, what? we've got the Thoughtful Dodo. I can't wait. Let's check it out. First of all, of course, you need to go and fetch your horse. So here I am fetching my horse Thor. Hi, Naomi. Normally you would be doing a quick release knot, but because he's in a stall, I'm using a cross tie on him. Because we're having a show tomorrow, I need to brush and braid his mane and do his tail and just cherish the moment. <laughs> Tails take more longer because there's so many tangles in it. And then eventually it becomes super smooth and silky. And now 20 minutes later we are finally done with our smooth and silky tail. Next up we have his tack so that I can hold on and so that I don't fall off. The fuzzy piece right there is called a half pad and it raises your saddle up if your horse is too wide for the saddle. Because Thor is such a sweetheart, I don't have to deal with my horse becoming a giraffe. So he just sits there calmly and lets me put his bridle on. The metal piece right down there is called the bit and it helps you have communication with your horse so that they can feel when you tug on the rein. And now we are ready to go and train for tomorrow. The metal pieces that my feet are in are called the stirrups, and they support your body so that you don't fall off. Obviously this is the walking gate, but we're going to transition into trot here. Getting your horse on the bit is like getting your horse to bow their head, like this with their heads straight down. The next gate is the canter, which is like a slow version of the gallop. We then need to get him ready for tomorrow by washing his fur so that he looks shiny and new. And then braiding his mane and putting them into buns for tomorrow. It's the next day already, starting with a warm up of canter. That prepares us for the jumping course. This is an 18 inch jumping course. Thor likes to refuse jumps, and so the highest place he got us in was fourth.
trip to a building recently. And this reminds me that modern advancements in elevators are astounding. Thoughtful Dodo, pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good. Pretty pretty thoughtful in his pretty ways. Thoughtful. Pretty thoughtful. He's a dodo, he's thinking about things, he's he talking is. about things. He's What's he thinking about? Different things. Lots the things, things that he thinks about. He's a, a thinking man's dodo, or a thinking woman's dodo, or thinking anybody's dodo. True that. What's under your hat? What's under your hat, magic? <laughs> Sorry. Loveliness. It's a letter. A letter? letter. Who's it from? Who's this letter from? Who's it from? Tell me who it's from. This letter is from Ben Moon. <gasps> ben Moon! You yes. know what? I, I know this kid and I'm a little worried about this letter. Go ahead. I don't think you need to be worried. I think, uh, I think it's quite an exciting letter. Okay. I'm, I'm excited. Okay. I love Ben Moon. Lay it on me. On a scale of three to minus 11, what is your 3.5th least favorite non-vegetable wind turbine? What? Do you have an answer for that today? I do, I think that in life, some questions are best left questioned and the the mystery in itself is the answer. Well, you know what? I couldn't have said it better myself. I do have an answer for that question. And my answer is Jennifer. Hello, Pan Pan. Are you there? I am. I'm looking for Pan Pan. Yes, I'm here, Dave. It's a shame that we got separated on the bus. Yes, it is. We will get back together soon enough, though, my friend. I'm glad that I could phone you on this telephone. Yes, it is very lucky that there's telephones all over the place. Yes, there definitely is a luck thing happening with us in our lives today. Well, when I was looking for this telephone. I, I passed a farmer's field. Oh yeah? What was in this farmer's field, my friend? Tell me, please. Well, I saw a scarecrow, but then he got promoted. Promoted? How, did, how could a scarecrow get promoted, my friend? Because he was outstanding in his field. Well, let me think about Pun Pun and Dave, clever guys. Very clever guys. I love them. Basically, I'm in love with them. The cleverest of guys. Like like a man who who loves his his dog. That's how I love Pun Pun and Dave. How do you love Pun Pun and Dave, Magic? I think if I was gonna summarize the way that I love Pun Pun and Dave. It would also be the way I would summarize this whole episode in that I would say that sometimes, even if you can teleport yourself somewhere by magic, it's not about being able to teleport yourself there by magic. It's the, the journey and driving there is the magic in itself. That would be what... So are you going to get a driver's license is what I'm going to ask next? No. Okay. Have a great time, everybody. Thank you for uh, watching Rabbit Ears. Wasn't that a good episode, Beth? I think it was a very good episode. But you want to know if it would be even better? What? 
It would be better if I could lick my elbow. Did you know that it is impossible for you to lick your elbow? Did you know that? I didn't know that. I'm starting, what is this? I'm starting to believe it. I want to lick my elbow. I, I can only get my hand. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. See you next time. Hey, Lorelai, how are you today? Do you want to watch that show right there? Guys? That show? That rabbit kind of show? Yeah, and you are in it. Yes, this is a beautiful show. I was wondering, though, I've got another question for you. Are you hey. ready? Yeah. How do cars work? Um, they roll when and somebody gets hurt, you need to call the ambulance. The ambulions? Yeah. Well, I hope you don't have to call an ambulance every time you get into a car. Um, I don't need to get in a car. Well, you don't need to? You just walk around wherever you go? Do you have a bike? I do, but when I stop when people come, I room over. I see.